could put that feed dog in there. Got that screw up there somehow. Yeah, and yeah. And try it that way. But I don't Save suggest Save your time you and you're doing 20 machines, yeah. yeah, yeah but actually, it doesn't. Yeah. Ultimately, if it's difficult to get the screw up there, it doesn't save you any time. No. You might as well take me that in the first yes, place. Yes, yes. You've got strong, you got strong hands because that was actually tighter than... I expected yeah. your left hands are a little stronger than the right um i often do, um, loosen off the uh, uh, difficult screws in the left hand anyway but uh okay so the large those two are the same so the larger ones for you yeah. now let's see we're so, up yeah make sure your needles out of the way so you can't right. you can pull off the rest of the bits i put back on apart from the back one you don't need to take the back one off. okay so pull you that's it Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> well, no, you self-correction. That's the yeah. perfect yeah. way. You would find out sooner or later. Oh yeah, only it's wrong or it's or it's right. right. I had it wrong. Yeah. There's um two ways to do it: the right way and the wrong way. <coughs> right. Wow. Yeah, it's supposed to rain all day. I just glanced oh, at the weather yesterday because. Just like, you, unless you don't have, if you got to go to London, it's probably getting close to lunchtime. Probably getting close to lunchtime getting, there's a, it can't be a lunchtime. I bet, I bet, I bet we're close. No, it's, uh, it's 20, almost 20 past 12. Oh, we we'll see, we're getting close. Yeah, it's a little low. Might be ready for an earlier one. You know? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have that in a moment. Put this one back together and. Uh, I'm definitely ready for another coffee. Yeah. Okay, I think you need to come this way a little bit there, Lou. I think you're out of line. You're in line. There we go. And how okay. do you know where the line is? Oh, I was looking. I can see the screw. You can oh, see the screw hole. Okay. I was, yeah, I was looking that. at the frame, yeah. and I was thinking that was the line. It's no. just the cut of the frame. It's not. And so I would. Well, I would have been. That was wrong, and it would have taken yeah, me a while you. to figure out that to, was wrong. What I would tend to do with those when I'm starting off because just put one be, in and then put yeah, the other just in. Put, yeah, and uh, yeah, let's put the other one. Then then you don't have to just straight down there. Of course, the screw holes are at an angle as well. Yeah, they're not straight down. There it goes. Okay, which is you know it's pretty sensible. It's sensible, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Get that screw Otherwise, you'd angle. never get a screwdriver yeah. under there, would you? There's a. We find a way. Oh yes, yeah. The impact gun <laughs> and a hammer. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I just make it a little tighter, but it doesn't have to be radically tight. I don't suppose. Okay, like that. Yeah, you do want it uh, fairly tight oh, because I mean the could work the, loose, boom, 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 the feed. If you put it on maximum stitch and the feed is actually hitting the plate, it'll try and it'll, and the screws will eventually start hitting the pl plate. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, so this the feed, feed dog, dog actually hits the side of the plate. Uh, it shouldn't do. If it's misaligned, it could do. At the moment, it's not. It's actually clear of the plate. I'm not got it on a maximum okay. stitch. Yeah, I think I've got it on a maximum stitch. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, there we go. It's as far as it would go. And it's not hitting the plate either end, front or back. So the length of your stitch is completely controlled by the um, feed dog. It is isn't Maximum it? stitch means the yeah. feed dog's moving the, the most. This okay. is to aid the uh, the feed movement on you know uh, the material. Often, often these feet don't move with the feed, they just stay there. If you're on a really thick piece of work, they'll actually then it will. They will start to okay. move. Okay. But if you've got a feed uh, foot that's driven by a cam inside here, mm -hmm. uh, then then the whole thing. So this is, isn't a walking foot. No, it's what we this call. This is a, a they call flexible it, well, foot. Or? Yeah, no, a lot of uh, people that, that don't understand the machine, and there's a lot of dealers out there that don't. Right. They they call it a walking foot because it, it picks up walk. and moves. Okay. It's not. It's what we call a flick back. Flick back. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, because it's sprung loading, it always flicks back. It's a simple oh. term. We use for the, the but a walking the foot is driven. Oh, it's driven, okay. absolutely driven. Okay, as, as will be the machine you'll see with um, uh, William. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, so mm -hmm. he's got a, it's a twin needle actually. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. It's the kind of so, machine we want to do. I have no idea. He, he where got, did he get he, that? I've oh, probably eBay. Okay. He's probably bidding against me on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch him. <laughs> I put the shuttle in first. Shuttle in okay. first. Yep. Okay. okay, so that's at least. The other half of that one, make sure that the bobbin case is actually closed right up. Click it. That's right. When you hear that click, you know it's closed. Okay. Okay, so you're good there for you're resting there. Okay. Now you can just do the final tweaking when you slide that. Oh, along. okay. And uh, 
I'll just do a do a there we go. It's, it's, it's ready to go, ready to to screw that plate back on. Some of the earlers have got um, a, a clip that um, you press because uh, the bolt doesn't do right up. This one does. Okay. Uh, some of them have got the uh, clip. It's a spring clip, and you, you you push it to lock it and pull it to unlock it, and you can literally it just the whole thing just falls down. So it's still everything's attached. Wow. Different yeah. nice access. Yeah. So you don't have uh, you know two or three pieces to pluck it for deflection. You see how much? Two millimeters. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's a larger needle, thicker thread. Okay. Right. People ask the same question. Two, two. You get away with two millimeters. Three is a push if you've got three, really you've got hard, it too tight. hard. And as you were saying before, no. Which is the tensioner? This one. No. This one. It is that one. Yeah. This is meant to be a oh, free wheel. This is meant to to, oh, to look. Oh, it is freewheeling. Yeah. Okay. If with the, with the foot down, it's freewheeling. Okay. Freewheeling with that. Can I just lift the foot up and look sure. at what happens here? Sure. Let's see what happens. A very simple device for opening the disc. Oh yeah, it just winds right up. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A mechanical device for opening the disc. Yeah, I'll remember that now because I saw it do this. You yeah. know. Yeah. It's unusual to find these original ones on here. Normally they're broken off. This now, what is this? This is uh... that, that, this one here. It's actually the, uh, the the disc opener. Oh, oh! It pushes up. Oh, it's actually lips. physically pushing it. Oh, you said that, and it didn't yeah. sink in. I, I was looking. I didn't look at it. What it was doing. You see, the, the the singer made things simple. Adler went one stage further. They went like the Americans when they went in it to to, to uh, go into space, and they found that they they couldn't write with a normal pen. So they invented the the um, what's the name of that pen? Let's show they produced the uh, paper mate because oh. you write upside down and upside down. Well, it's right like. upside down. Okay? But the Russians used a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, hilarious. You know, <laughs> they save so much I money. They <laughs> spent millions, millions of dollars. But they would this. be losing their pencil sharpeners in gravity. Of course they would. Yeah, they'd be all without over the place. gravity. But yes. what fun you could have, eh? Yeah, pencil. The Russians used yeah. to pencil. Get that, get, get that pencil sharpener out of your ear. <laughs> <laughs> but this, this here, yeah, like um, you know, that's a mechanical means. How simple does it get? It actually opens that disc up. There it is, and pulls that thread slack. And so just going right. There we go. But yeah, so that's tension release. Simple. Okay, so now. I'm going to pop this back in, okay. With this, a lot, a lot of the stuff um, people use, whether it's an Adler or whether it's a Singer, maybe a Juki or whatever it is, will have a similar device to actually open up this bobbing case. Okay. I I, use, I usually hold the barrel, one mm -hmm. finger lever, thumb, flick it open, and slide the bobbin in, and make sure that the thread is underneath. Oh, sorry, over Just, the top. I think, oh, right. okay. I was going to say which way over. Okay, over the top. So when you pull that. Pull that. There we go, it's in there. And I'll pull that now. Okay, so it's going in a clockwise direction. There we go. That's nice and tight there. Probably too tight, actually. That's Probably tight. too That's tight. tight yeah. And so to loosen that then, because it's. Yep. Oh, we have a little screw here. Okay. You know, the, some of them have got um, a small screwdriver over there. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Some of them have got um, a locking screw off the back. You can actually, s no, this one hasn't. So that you can actually screw that. Once you've done it, you can screw a screw down to stop it coming loose at, at some sort of speed. Okay. Sometimes the screws do come undone and we'll loosen off. So there we are. Just one screw. Oh, I see. You just wound it half a turn or something. Yeah, half yeah. a turn. And see what it looks like. Yeah, a bit more maybe. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. No, you, you, you pull. Oh, yeah, yeah. Much, much nicer. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just tweak it up a tiny bit more. That'll be good. That should be good for us. Okay. So mm -hmm. now, we'll put it. So now we can pick it up. Uh, yeah. So we'll pull the thread up. Oh, give that a tug, Ben. Feel yeah. that. Yeah, there's. Okay, good. Yep, it's got to have some resistance on it. Yes. It's not like the domestics. It has to be a little stronger. Yeah. Okay, but um, otherwise, you, because you're cutting a hole, 
so you have the hole. If it's too loose, it literally pulls straight up through that hole. Oh, sure. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh. What are we doing here? I think that's why we actually changed. I'm actually you know, not straight, maybe. I'm, I'm no, no, I've out. lowered the needle, I remember. No, the needle was out when I put it back together. Okay. So what have I, have I done something wrong? No, maybe. No. It, it, oh, hang on, you swung this one around the wrong way for a start. Go on. Shh. Oh, what just happened there? The, the, yeah. I've swung, so that went that way. Oh, ah, yeah. It's okay. on the inside. Yep, so there you are. Okay. Okay, so there's another little. Okay, right up as far as it will go. Make sure. Yeah, you didn't put that together, right? It's a very obvious. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> there's a right way and a wrong way. There's a... Yeah, well, I see, there's only two ways. There's only two ways, right? Yeah. Yes. No way. Okay. Right. So we're going to have difficulty threading these needles. I think it's time we went to spec savers. Yeah, there's. I was going to get that. <laughs> Not only do they want me bifocals, but I want it. It's not picking the thread up nicely, is it? Did it pick it up then? No, it didn't. Um, let me let me put some light on that. Hmm. That's a bit of a strange one. No, what is it? Uh, it's almost just... like the thread's coming out the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Right, the groove is on the outside. Maybe. Do I see groove? Yeah, there's the groove. Okay. Mm, it's okay. Well, it's interesting because nothing. Okay. Gotta get that picked up. No. Okay. It touches it, but it doesn't pick it up. In is which it, case, it, it's out of timing. It's well, it, it's not actually out of timing. No. Nope. It is. There's a gap between the needle and the uh, shuttle. Okay. And we're gonna look down on that one because remember I took the um, yeah we may but might not be in oh um did it would that have something to do with that padding that mm -hmm. um, the padding at the back the, the, yeah. the, the gasket or a shim or yep, that's right that thing. I can do this side of the right there's a okay. so let's put the uh, there's another screwdriver behind us on that table if you need it there's a good. So I'll look and see what that gap is because there's something not quite right about it. it um, no, that's clean there. Well, that indicates from what I can see that is that it's picking up too low. Well, not, not um, the low. scarf is mm. it's okay mm. um i bet you if we if we lowered the needle now mm -hmm. would that pick up yeah, okay but be, that's, uh, yeah but it's not it has been sewing yes fingers just in case i hit you That looks. Yeah. That looks. I can't yeah. see exactly the scarf on the right hole. Of the yeah, scarf, we're we're okay. we're in a good position there. So yeah. let's let's um, see what happens. Okay. You didn't adjust the needle by height for me, did you? Uh, no, oh, no. Um, if you ask me to. I, I might have to wait until you showed me again. <laughs> <laughs> I might have wanted to do it, but you know, uh, yeah, as a joke, just as a joke. <laughs> but my sense of humor has has its limits. You got it. Yeah, it's got yes. it. So that needle behind is actually incorrect. So that's a bit odd because when... We haven't whacked it against anything, have we? I don't think so. I don't think so. I certainly haven't anyway. That wouldn't... Yeah, while well, you were on the phone, it's... <laughs> I was just trying something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just a... We'll, we'll, we'll mess his day up completely. Yes. He's been giving us yeah. all these towels and 
Storm giving us, yeah, he's giving us uh, so we can get it up to at least four or five hundred RPM. Yeah, we're nearly there. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We can get a few of the neighbors to push yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're 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 good we're good to go. Except one there. Okay. The needle of height is incorrect. Okay. So the, the, just... the needle height is incorrect. Ah, mm. yeah. So we we've, we've adjusted it on the needle itself. Yeah. So if we put now the needle have... to where it should be, okay, well, this needs to come down. Yeah. So. so if I put the needle in, uh, we know we've got the thread up now, right? Yes. Yes. Now if I put the needle back up and just try and make it Let's see so. if it works. Okay. Okay. Before okay, because going... you're putting it now back to where it should be. Yep. Okay. Right up into the bar. Yes, and so the and timing. Technically, it shouldn't is, be working. If the timing's correct, then the needle bar height is wrong. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. But first, it's the timing. Because that's the only thing you have yes. on these that you can adjust. Okay, so in reality, this one should not actually be stitching now. Okay, it should not pick. It should not, it should not pick up that. It doesn't. No. Don't. You go one more, one, okay, there we go, and I can see, yeah, you missed it again, and yeah. right back to where you yeah. were, there's so a... So needle behind is incorrect anyway. Okay. So, it's a great possibility, but um, we'd had this issue uh, with another little bit of training that was done, and instead of lowering the needle bar, just lowered the needle to yeah. Sim yeah. simulate yeah. adjusting needle bar, and not put it in the correct order. And we'll make sure we tell William or all the, the problems the with it, is, so he'll then... When you give yeah. someone a, a problem to say, can you Want to give it that? to me. I yeah. mean, that would be a perfect thing. That would be, exactly, that's what yeah. I do at times. Okay, okay. And so it might, you might have been, yeah. so might have been might set might that way purposely. Left, left but, to I think you're check. playing Somebody, Mickey on us. No, nah, that's it. <laughs> but uh, some smart Alex could well just adjust the needle bar down and get the machine working. Yeah. Um, or the needle, the I needle, or I, adjust the I needle down and yeah. tell you then they fooled you because you've yeah. checked so it. So it right. sews. It sews. You give him a pass. Last he goes one. away. <laughs> yeah. And he had it. That was like that's like a cheap service call, isn't it? You got in and out before. <laughs> yeah, not before to do anything. Had, well, I like say we um, <clears throat> we we always guarantee our repairs. Uh, <laughs> uh, listen yeah. to at least until the check clears anyway. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> oh. No. Nah, They'd, they'd all pick their teams, yeah. and it was terrible when there was an odd, odd uh, number. There's so you, you yeah. one standing there, and it's you always, were the one that always me. Yeah. It's, uh, the funny thing is, though, years only later... Only sport I like was murder ball. We, years later, we, we realized, oh, we could do stuff on our own. <laughs> we became good runners. So, this one's got two... Just screws. the same amount as you did that needle. Okay. Yep. As, as best I can, I'm going yeah, to do the screw guessing, up. A millimeter. I'm going to have a quick uh, look and see where I think it is. That's looking pretty good, actually. It's just yeah, high, it is quite higher, high, higher than it higher was than into the scarf. Point. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that's going to sew properly now. Should do. But you see, it's simplistic, isn't it? So, it is beautiful. It is just amazing. I just love it. I just love it. And also, I'm sorry, Willie. Sorry, uh, uh, we're going to have to let him have this one. Now we found the screw. Yeah, I can okay. conclude this. Yeah. I've just put this back on, right? Yes. Where's that check spring? It's, it's the at the bottom, to the resting place. It may be, but it's not on the right resting ah. place. Oh, well, wait a minute. It's got the, uh, yeah. the that lever's up. Okay, so the lever's oh. up. You bring the lever down, it's still in the same place, but it ain't going to work. Foot? Does it have anything to do with putting no. the foot down? It, no, it has to do with putting the spring up. Like this, on the wrong side of that. Uh -huh. Oh, so you have to make sure that happens. Okay. Oh, you'd never get it working. No, it would be oh, happy. And you, wow. what? What did I do wrong? What have yeah. I done wrong? Yeah, and that's all it is. Okay. Yeah, that simple. It's a machine-specific thing. Yeah. Talking about computers, I was reading uh, some uh, uh, what statistics uh, sayings. Uh, um, back a few weeks ago, one of the scenes, um, somebody, had, I don't even know who it was that said it, um, that in the year sort of 2000, that the heaviest computer will not be more than two tons. 
<laughs> so they they're looking back in 1975, 80s, you know. Probably like, Tim Berners-Lee you know, or something. Massive. Someone. Will not be more than two tons. Yes, yes. How wrong was that? Yeah. In <laughs> that how about with, with the email? Well, actually, it's couple, right. Like, it's exactly that, right. That statement was 10 years before 1970. Yeah. Lou, was the email like a whole block? Um, oh, I've seen it. I, w I went to went to the, I went, went to. to a, you go there to yeah. what's it called? Uh, where they uh, you know where I mean, Pat, or, um, whatever it's called. Where they did the thing in the machine, computers on the, in the. Um, it was at the British Library. Yeah, no, no, the one that's where they uh, did did the deciphering north of London, just near. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Park, Bletchley Park. Bletchley Park. Yeah. And uh, and they and they part of Bletchley Park. The computer. They. I mean, the computers there. They did that. But the computers, well, they did the deciphering, right? But there's a building there, and another company owns, or another charity owns, the actual computers. And so the computers they use to solve that are there. And they're, you know, the size of that wall plus all the shelves, you know, that sort of wow. thing. And they're all, what do you call them, uh, relays and stuff like that? Instead of yeah, transistors, a, you know, it's, uh, it's like the just, whole thing. And the, just, these things weigh tons. Well, they so when they said they're going to have it down to two tons, that well, was no, it, so around would, the time they developed the transistor. Would have yeah. would have been that time. Right, yeah. yeah. But what it, what he said, he made the statement, which is accurate, will not exceed not two wrong. tons. Oh. <laughs> well, anything yeah. below two tons, it happens to be like two ounces. <laughs> which is your computer that you've got yeah, in, in it's, your. It's so he's right. Yeah. But two tons. I thought what a they statement. Were, that was funny. That was funny. And he was the wisest. He was the, he was the, the keynote oh. speaker that day. Yeah. Mm -mm. Clever guys. Well, there we go, guys. Oh, yeah, I should be. There's a... Is that thread going in? Yeah, there? it's gone. You've gone through, yeah. It's not coming out. <laughs> oh, no, I do, do one of my mother says, it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got, it's plugged. Uh -huh. Potatoes in there. Yeah, How happened. is that? Yeah, oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. flick it up, up and then around, and then hopefully, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Sometimes things work so quickly. Huh. Give me the scissors. <laughs> uh, go. I just, uh, I've got it. I've got it bent. <laughs> I've, I've bent the end of it. There's a. Oh, well, scissors like a Look chew off, that. chew off cleaner. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it between your teeth. <laughs> okay. And but so for all its fancy stuff, all the new ones, yes. ultimately you'll have the same. Procedure. This this is like beautiful watching this. Okay, so now I've threaded it, and I'm going to put this down to check the tension. And that's okay, let's bring right. yes, bring the tension, yeah. bring the needle. Oh, down. the needle down. Okay, so then now pull the needle, pull the thread through the needle, and you see you have the same okay. amount of movement. The thread being thicker, okay. the distance being longer for the take up will still give you the same reading. Two millimeters. So we can hopefully now if I uh, if I've actually lowered it oh what was that no, no that's the foot lifting oh. <laughs> so let's let's hold the thread over the right side oh it's still missing unbelievable that cannot be true <laughs> it's getting trapped it's still not right is it hey um let me get the light on there let's just, just put it out that's yeah, okay. Um, we're, stuck, we're stuck here on the. Uh, yeah, it's got a. It's got been a around. Got, it, been yeah. around the block, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, been okay. around the block. Yeah, let's pull them up. I think so. I'm trying too hard now. Let's see if it works now. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. As I said, it's a clattery old machine. It's a lot of metal banging around. It's like an old train. Did you miss that one? Did you miss that one? It's caught up. Yeah, we, we've got oh, it. We, uh, still uh, not yeah. quite right. No, not yet. Uh, still not quite right there. The foot looks like it's giving a lot, moving a lot more than you'd expect. Mm. Yeah. Right. Um, Ah, okay. Oh, we ran out of string. Oh, yep. Okay, there's a... Oh. Yep. oh, so there was no tension on it, because maybe because... Oh, maybe it had already come out of here? 
<laughs> you get family to <laughs> yeah, but you 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 do this you do the same thing as I do. So the same thing that, uh, that I, don't you get them, I don't get them quite right. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I was looking no to baby. see the action of the jack spring when it's up yeah. and then it's resting. Okay. And, so um, and hopefully in reality that that as eye, it pierces, it's rest come to rest. Yeah, that's that, right. Okay. It, the eye itself, I because, I because the, normally you wouldn't be sewing stuff this thin, you would have something with a little sub, more substance to it. Okay. The eye would be already in the leather, which is okay. exactly as it's supposed to stop. So as the eye goes into the material, the spring has come to rest. It comes to rest, that's Now, right. why is that, Ellen? I mean, am I... Uh, it's okay, gone because as far as it can go. It's, it's yep. keeping... Okay. <laughs> right, what it is... Can't, right, we'll, we'll go through this, because you need yes. to know the reasons yes. why you, something can slip stitch. Okay. Okay. As the needle is in the machine, okay, right now, see, very slack. Yes, okay. Okay, right. It has to be like that, otherwise you won't get loop. Okay, we're about, we're not there yet. It's not coming no, up no, yet. No, 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 but it's, 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 still, it's still going to be slack. It's still going to okay. be slack, otherwise you won't get a loop. It's coming up, timing's in, yeah. Picked up. And it's still slack. It's still slack. Okay. Okay. Now that now ah, that when because it's got to go all the yeah. way. It's got to wrap all the way exactly. around. Exactly. It needs some okay. more thread. You need. So it's... now it's pulled off. Okay. And it's now pulling up. Look. There you okay. Go. Now take up the slack. Yep. This time. And which slack. this comes out. Okay. Yep, that's right. Okay. Now, now so that's, that's locked in. Okay. And so now the action again. So now as you go around, now this starts to happen. That's right. Why does this start Keeps happen now? To stop Keeping the thread it... getting caught around anywhere. Okay. If it was all, it's... if there was no ch check spring on that, yeah, this thread would be floating all over okay. the place. Okay, so it's just keeping things tidy. Exactly, up here. it's keeping it nice and tidy. Doing. Okay. Three tall. Where? Okay. Lines. So this is when it's ready to come up. This takes That's up right. the slack for, that right. you use to get up. This one keeps it tidy here. That's right. Okay. So as it as the needle enters the materials, whatever it happens to be, that's it. It's done its job. It okay. Doesn't need to do anything else. Okay. Because we need slack thread now. Because we got. How did they think that. of this? Yeah. How did they think of it? Yes. So the slack thread and how this works. I'll like I'll do a drawing on a piece of paper if I can find a pen. And... Stay there. So oh I, I won't move. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll just colour that in a bit. Right. Okay, so as the needle goes into the fabric, I've got a, um, I'll just do to that. To get the eye hole. Okay. okay, okay, so th that's the point. Okay. Yeah. And we'll just do dot, 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 dot. So, right, okay, that's probably a bit high for this demonstration, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So, remember the thread is in the groove all okay. the way through it's all in the groove and then it goes off to your rear thread here yes yep. okay okay so it's nicely in the groove not tight it's slack okay now the the, the loop that's formed there is by friction between the needle here and the material yes. so as this comes up it can't come through too tight on this side but because this is all slack all loose like it will be when it goes yeah, yeah look, it pulls okay. okay so it's all slack the, the the friction on this side of the needle gripping the thread allows that to be it's on break now it's, it's, it's like acting as a break mm -hmm. this is forcing the it Looper. bunches up. It bunches, bunches up. up it's it bunching yeah, up. The needle's still coming up. What a good up. term. It's bunching up. Yeah. yeah. That's what forms the loop. The loop, yeah. Okay, that's exactly how the loop is formed. We haven't done that until now. Yeah. We've shown you a loop formed, but how does it happen? Yes. And that's because it can't go anywhere until uh, your, your shuttle point or hook point goes in there, goes around the shuttle and the take-up lever then pulls it back in again. I, I, st I still don't know how they designed it. Wow, but what yeah. we need to know is how far does it left before we got that loop we want? Four yes. millimeters ish? Okay, should be close on that one. Okay, I haven't quite made it. Just a little bit out on that one. It's a little bit back at the moment. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, there's a lot of slop in here anyway. Yeah. So you have got you have to make small allowances. You, you know, you won't look for perfection on an old machine. Yes. Tolerances are quite incredible, they actually. They probably don't require perfection. No, they don't. 
It only needs a loop every time. Yeah. And if it takes another half a millimeter to get it, you, you're, nobody's you, arguing about it. Yeah. Yes. yes you when you get to this stage, four, meter, four millimeters, four and a half millimeters, what the heck? You know, mm -hmm. you know nothing. Yeah. And nothing to consider. And what's something. playing stuff? I mean, yeah. there's your. You have to make that allowance. Mm -hmm. And once you've done that, then you have to see where is the knee, where the needle is in relationship to the shuttle in time. You know, and there we go, you can see, there we are. It's about just a little over halfway up that, that scarf. Because I know the length of the scarf, yeah. according to where the top of the eye is. Yeah, and your lovely scarf picture yeah. on here, on your scarf, yeah. the needle wants to pick it up a halfway or just a little bit? Just a, a little yeah, over around, on the top just a, half. Just but on this style shot. of machine? Yeah. On this, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. And that, that, that will give you a pretty good results. One of the problems you have also with this style of machine is because of the thickness of the needle um, and the variations you get with needle size, for instance, if you were to put a small needle in here, i.e. 120, and you would use a corresponding thickness of thread, mm. the needle being thinner would be farther away from the shuttle point. Oh. So you have to be really, really careful. You have to try and find an optimum size needle to mm. set the whole thing up. Good argument for having multiple machines set it different sure. for doing different sure. things. That's what people do. Yeah. yeah. They set the machines up. I use a ticket 40 on this part of my product. Oh my gosh, I use a so ticket good. 8 on this part of the product and I use this machine. I mean, the size of the needle is amazingly different. So therefore, your shuttle point or hook point will be too far away from the needle. If you, you if you try to get it to stitch, for instance, if we set this one up, which we had technically set up, and yeah, I, and yeah. put a one twenty in, it would probably work most of the but time. But it might miss it. And you're going to get every now and again. You might you're have to tighten it up a big, bit. Yeah, you might have to close it up. Yeah. The only way you can do that is by shimming them back out, shimming it back out. Okay. But remember, if you go back to putting a large needle in. You've already shimmed it up. Oh, bang. Yeah, oh, you my, you almost yeah. need you a note. The needle. You need a log on each machine yeah, to know so where you were last. Yeah. yeah, so, so yeah. what we tend to do is to try and find the half, what we call the halfway house. So Are you, you going to use a both. 120? Yeah. yeah. If you're using a 120 on this machine, yeah, and I'm also going to be using a 200. Ooh. Be careful. So it goes 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Four sizes. So you're far sizes. four sizes beyond. Mm. Okay. Probably be tough to tough call that one. Yeah. Probably yes. a tough call. So I would say, well, okay, hang on. And you don't want to be taking the machine apart I, and adjusting. That's, that's five to. needle sizes. I'm going for the middle one. I'll set it up on the middle one. Uh, and then see if it works yeah, in so both. Yeah, so you can work yeah. backwards then. Okay. That's how we do it. But I like the way you check as soon as some when as soon as you came down, as soon as we right away, oh what happens? We've got a clunk, you know, and it's uh, Yeah. I mean you always check it when you do something. Yeah. I just um It's um it, it's um automatic, you know. You just uh, I put the this on the wrong way around. Oh yeah, but you know, you would have soon found out when you were sewing, if it would have sewn, but it would have got caught on the the um, thread. Oh there the is, thread would have got caught on yeah, there because thread, it's right yeah. where the oh well, okay. yeah, once once that loosens up the need, the I'm going to wrap around there. there. I guess one good way to remember it is is the scarf is facing that so way the as is is that also, is. Yeah. yeah. It isn't always the case though. Oh. It depends on the machine. Sometimes you have a different type of clamp and you have a little grub screw that it, it, that that sinks itself into the metal so it doesn't it doesn't protrude. Oh yeah, okay. So then it yeah. could be on the other side. Or it okay. might be on the Where front. The thread is. Okay. So you, you know, it can vary. It can be different with, with different um, machines. The machine over there, the long arm, that has a screw on the side of the needle bar. It has a screw in the bar itself. Okay. And it protrudes on that side. It doesn't affect the sewing at all. If it was at the front, they would have a problem because you thread it from the front to the back. Uh. So the thread would get caught around the screw. So, but they thought about it. They thought, they thought about this stuff. Yes. Yeah. So...